Well, welcome to my channel. This is Sister Bev, fabulously functional. And of course, one of the ways, um, the utmost way that I'm fabulously functional is because of my faith uh, in the midst of this fallen world. Um, the only way I am able to fabulously function is through my faith in God Almighty. And so, uh, on my YouTube channel, occasionally I do an encouragement. So today I'm doing that uh, while I'm sipping on my alkalinized water, you know, with the half teaspoon of baking soda and uh, eight ounces of warm water and a slice of lemon. Just makes it uh, more palatable and more refreshing. So I'm sipping on that. Um, this morning, and I don't know how many of you have accepted the challenge of alkalinizing your body, this uh, simple, inexpensive, and effective way of just doing this two to three times a day. I try and get it in three times a day, but at least two times, and that would be early in the day and then in the evening before I go to bed. Uh, so I'm sipping on that, but I want to encourage you I don't know when you'll be able to see this or when you will see it. Um, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, um, Eastern Standard Time for me. Um, and I'm sorry about the light. I don't know what causes the shadows to come and go. But I've been trying different things. And uh, I, just, I just do what I, I can do. Um, uh, to keep the light <laughs> from, let's see, hold your mute just a minute. Okay. Because sometimes if there's too much extra light, then you get the shadows that come and then and then, and then, and go. But um, at any rate, I want to um, encourage you uh, from this beautiful devotional that my sister gifted to me and my mother and my sisters shortly before my father passed away, my father passed away, which was September the 8th. Um, and um, this month, the subtopic this month in this devotional is the unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. And that comes from Psalms 32 and 10. Unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. And certainly during these days, we have uh, felt and needed God's love, his unfailing love to surround us and to trust him um, in all that has happened. In the passing of our father, my, mus my mother's husband of 63 years, and they would have celebrated 64 years in December, and of course, this month is Daddy's birthday. He would have been 86 on the 28th of October. Um, so October is a, a very um, significant month in my life now, a very pivotal um, point in my life now would be um, thinking about my father and um, the years he lived and um, just his recent passing. Um, in the month before. But uh, Psalm 32.10, unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. So that is the subtopic, if you will, for October in this wonderful devotional, Jesus Always, Embracing Joy in His Presence by Sarah Young. Um, and it's for 365 days. So I just want to read a little bit of Psalm 32, and then I'm going to do the devotional for today. So Psalm 32, uh, when you get down to that 10th verse, and it reads, Many are the sorrows of the wicked. Many are the sorrows of the wicked. But he who trusts in the Lord, loving kindness shall surround him. Of course, my father trusted the Lord all of his life and taught me my sister's uh, to trust the Lord, led our family by trusting the Lord. And so we have been left with a legacy of trusting the Lord. 
And even in my father's passing, we have been trusting the Lord and he has surrounded us with his loving kindness. And then the 11th verse says, be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous ones, and shout for joy, all you who are upright in heart. And that just means those who have, those of us who have integrity. And of course, integrity comes from just knowing and trusting the Lord Jesus Christ himself. That's where integrity comes. It's not in and of ourselves, but it's appreciating and, and uh, having gratitude in your heart for the loving kindness of God Almighty himself and the person of Jesus Christ. And, and resting on that and knowing that uh, we must do the right thing. Amen. Because it pleases the one who has saved us from our sins, who has saved us in the midst of our sins and has kept us with his loving kindness because we trust him. And so today's devotional, and now I just went over the subtopic for the whole month of October, but today's devotional, October the 3rd says, and I love this devotional because it talks to you uh, as if God himself is talking to you. And so God is saying to us on October the 3rd, my judgments are unsearchable and my paths are beyond tracing out. This is why trusting me is your best response to my ways with you. My wisdom and knowledge are too deep for me to explain myself to you. You know, there are those times where we want to ask God why. But he really does not have to explain himself to us because his knowledge and wisdom are too deep for him to even to begin explain himself to us. So this should not be surprising, God says, since I'm infinite and eternal. I have always existed from everlasting to everlasting. I am God. I am also the word who became flesh and dwelt among you. I identify with mankind to the full extent, taking on a human body and dying a terrible death to save sinners who believe in me. My sacrificial life and death provide ample reason for you to trust me, even when you don't understand my ways. And I want to pause right there because there are those times we don't understand God's ways. But when you live, when you live close in contact with the Lord. And when your relationship is strong with the Lord, he reveals to you the reasoning behind some of the things that take place in your life. Amen. And many times you can find it in his word if you read his word. Amen. And so even when we don't understand his ways, uh, we just have to trust him. And God says to us, you can rejoice that your loving Savior and sovereign Lord is infinitely wise. And you can draw near me at any time by lovingly whispering my name. I am always within whispering distance. Whispering distance. He's within whispering distance, which means even though there's those times we want to scream out to the Lord, even if we whisper, he still hears us. Even if we can't utter, then Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father and interprets our moanings and our groanings for us by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you can draw near me at any time by lovingly whispering my name. I'm always within whispering distance, he says. Now, throughout your lifetime and for all eternity, he's within whispering distance. I am Emmanuel, God with you, and I will never leave you. Romans the 11th chapter 33rd verse says, Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable his judgments and his past beyond tracing out. And then Psalm 92 says, Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. And then John the first chapter, the 14th verse says, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, glory as of the only son from the father, full of grace and truth. And then finally, Matthew 1, 23, the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, 
which means God is with us. So what we really need to take away from this devotional today is that God is with us. He will never leave us. His uh, paths, we cannot trace his paths, and his wisdom and his knowledge are too deep for him to explain to us the movements that he makes in our lives, the judgments that he sets forth. And when I think about that, I think about my father and his passing, how the doctors told us that he was miraculously getting better and that he would be coming home middle of the week. But by the beginning of the week, the, the, the day after our conversation, Daddy would flatline. His heart would just stop at 6.30 a.m. in the morning. And after four attempts, they would not be able to bring him back. But later on, we would find that on the day he died, it was 42 years exactly to the day he was called to be pastor of East Mount Zion Baptist Church, September the 8th. And when you think about the perfect timing of God, 42 years is about one hour of God's time. If a thousand years is but a day in the eyes of the Lord. And so God moved in his perfect timing in our dad's life. And it brings solace to my heart in knowing that all of his judgments are perfect and in perfect timing. And if you read the Bible, um, you will see the perfect timing of God in the Bible and even in your life. Amen. So what we need to know for well is that God is with us and that his ways are perfect. And we can't question him. And even if we do, we still have to realize that God's timing is perfect but he will never leave us and he will always surround us at all times in our life with his loving kindness. Amen. Amen. So there's a song that I'm thinking of that I want to just sing a verse of and I'll leave that with you before I go. I am thine O Lord, and I have heard thy voice, and it told thy love to me, and I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to the cross where thou hast Die, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where Jesus died, to thy precious Bleeding side. Amen. A wonderful hymn of the faith. And I may have got the words kind of mixed up and messed up, but I'm sure you get the message that God wants us to be drawn closer to him and to know full well that we who trust him are surrounded and comforted by his loving kindness. He will never leave us nor forsake us. And his judgments are very perfect and in perfect time in our lives. Amen. Amen. So God bless you.
and may heaven smile upon you. As always, our prayer. Bye-bye.